you know, certainly we've got Southeast Louisiana and then, you know, some other, um, you know, really established football programs that are playing well in our league right now. But, you know, our, our focus is on Southeastern. And, you know, since they joined the conference, I have always believed that they've had the finest collection of athletes uh, in the league. And, and since Ron Roberts has taken over the program, they've added uh, to that. Um, they are a transfer based type program. There's quite a few transfers led by their Oregon transfer quarterback, Brian Bennett. Um, you know, Kevin, it might be, and I, I may be speaking out of turn here, but maybe one of the finest collection of athletes, size, speed, and ability uh, that's come into Homer Bryce Stadium in, in, in quite a while. And um, very well coached, very athletic, obviously, very physical. Uh, they took down a, a, a really good Central Arkansas team uh, this past weekend. Uh, they took Tulane to the brink uh, before losing uh, uh, one of their, uh, you know, one of their two losses. Um, but you're right. I mean, uh, everything that we do now is magnified. But we've put ourselves in a position, and the conference is, you know, um, is played out to where, you know, we we control our own destiny. Um, and that may be premature to say, but going into this week, you know, Southeastern's the only unbeaten team in the league. We have one conference loss, and we've got them at home this week for homecoming. Um, it's Hall of Fame weekend. It's supposed to be a spectacular day. It would not – I've heard numbers like 13,000, 14,000. It wouldn't shock me if, you know, you got one of the top six, eight programs in the country coming in here. We're sitting at a pretty good record right now. And uh, we can't control who we played, where we played them the conditions we play in. All we can deal with is the gnomes. We're getting a little bit healthier, and I think we it wouldn't shock me if we had 15,000 people here this weekend.